machine. It uh, is not bad. I will give you uh, a twenty dollars. Twenty? I need. Oh, I mean, couldn't you please make it just a little bit more? S say twenty to fifty. Uh, twenty is my price for this particular length and thickness. Uh, take it or leave it. Well, can you? Can you cut it quickly so I won't change my mind? Oh, naturally, madame. Naturally. Now, let me see. Now, it is better if you close your eyes. Yes, Mr. Crump. You show a great deal of interest in the time. Yes, sir. I might remind you the time is what I'm paying you for. At $17.50 a week. Yes, sir. 54 hours a week, that's nearly 33 cents an hour. Approximately half a cent a minute. That's right, sir. Time, young man, is money. Christmas Eve here is just December the 24th. I understand, Mr. Crump. Two cents, I'd... How much is two cents? Four minutes. I was counting on his letting us off early today. I've got to get a present for Margaret. What are you going to buy for your wife? I don't know. It all depends on the size of our Christmas bonus from old Crump. I don't think it'll be $500. 500 <laughs> Not likely. That's what a sealskin coat costs. Tell me, Bill... Why does a woman want to wear the skin of a seal? Who knows? Shh, she's coming back. Gentlemen, your attention for one moment. <clears throat> I'm sorry to announce that because business has been very poor this year, as you who keep my books must know, there will not be the usual Christmas bonus. <clears throat> However, because I've dispensed with the usual Christmas party, I am adding, per capita, the cost of that party to your checks. Each of you will receive <clears throat> an extra three dollars. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Cheer up, Jim. For that three dollars, you can buy a one sealskin earmuff. Genuine platinum. He is pretty, man. For your husband. He is quiet, but he's of real value. Yes, that describes him exactly. Oh, oh I thought you meant Jim, my husband. Maybe I did. He must be a good man if you marry him. Oh, thank you. It's the only fob I've ever seen that's as beautiful as his watch. It's not just an ordinary watch. It was his father's and his grandfather's, and it will be handed on down to... Well, that is, if we have a son. And you will. You will have a boy. This fob, it'll bring you luck, I bet you. Mr. Menke, all I have is... $21.87, but I do so want to take the fob home with me tonight. Could I, could I pay you the rest later? What is this later? Do you think I'm squeezing blood out of a stone? <laughs> For you, I make a special price. $20. Oh, Mr. Mankin. Did 
I wish you a Merry Christmas? I don't know. Maybe I think so. Well, I want to. I want everyone to have a Merry Christmas, even Santa Claus. Going down to Clancy's Saloon, have a hot butter drum. How about it? No, no thanks, fellas. Oh, come on, it's Christmas Eve. Sure. No, my wife's alone. She worries if I'm late. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Jim. to you. Poor fella, henpecked, isn't he? You ever see his wife? No. Excuse me. You should be henpecked so nice. My hair grows. But, but what? I cut it off and sold it because I couldn't have lived through Christmas without giving you a present. You cut off your hair? Yes, and sold it. But it doesn't matter so much, does it, Jim? I'm still me without my hair. I can't believe it. Your hair, it's gone. You needn't look for it, Jim. It's sold, I tell you. Oh, Jim, tell me it doesn't matter. Tell me I look all right, even if you don't mean it. Tell me. Oh, say Merry Christmas and open your present, darling. Oh, it, it's all right, darling. It, it, it looks looks fine. Oh, it'd take more than a haircut to make me love my girl any less. Honestly. Honestly. I am. Uh, I. I stopped on my way home and bought something for you. Oh, Jim! So fast, Jim. By spring, I can wear them. Oh, but, but you haven't opened your present, darling. 